Maybe you can start with you know, who you are, how long you've been in business, and what do you do uh, for our community? Um, we met actually when uh, my grandparents' house was, uh, we were looking to possibly sell that. So we've had a, a little bit of a connection that way as well. And yeah. it's great to be here today. Um, <laughs> So yeah, I'm a lifelong resident of South San Francisco, and uh, my name is Stacy Gillellen, and I have a business called Dragonfly Designs, and we're an art education company. We've been in business, this is our 15th year. So. Wow. <laughs> yeah, so we, um, prior to COVID, we had all of our classes, parties, events in person. Um, so we teach art education to children, um, and adults mm -hmm. and uh, host classes, um, events, parties, things of that nature. In uh, mid-March, uh, about three weeks after that happened, we went ahead and converted all of our in-person teaching to online teaching. Um, so we teach, our, our instructors teach live over Zoom. We actually cool. send materials kits out to families so that everybody can participate and has all the materials that they need to take an art class. I guess in some ways what you're saying is um, as much as what's recently happened might have helped you in reaching more people because everything is online, right? Um, and I guess, tell us what you mean by art education. What are you striving for when you do you know, connect with parents or the people responsible that will say, yes, I'm gonna have you and you're gonna teach us X, Y, and Z. What, is, what are you trying to accomplish? And I guess maybe that's tied to your mission as a company. Yeah, so um, for us, art education is all about exposing children and adults to actual techniques so we believe that everyone has an innate creativity and that we're able to bring that out in our classes and camps but our programs are special in that our teachers all have their advanced degrees in the arts so they're experts in their field mm -hmm. but they also absolutely love working with children and adults of course in contrast to when we were teaching in-person classes um, our teachers would show up, we would uh, you know, teach a, a technique in the classroom, we would let the children borrow the tools just for that time, and then we would take them back with us. But now, um, the children actually have the tools at home mm -hmm. and they can continue making. So once they've learned these techniques, they take it to a whole new level. We've seen uh, wonderful things like children in our classes making bracelets and selling them and uh, donating the funds to food banks or sending them to first responders as a way to say thank you. So it's really been this beautiful transition. Um, you brought up the fact that now, yes, we can uh, reach children all across the country yeah. and Canada because we do ship materials kits. There's, mm -hmm. um, we have to be able to ship them, and right now shipping is a little bit uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> iffy. For, yeah. um, it's been a really positive experience for kids who, um, who need that connection right now. <laughs> adults booking our, our programs for these, uh, we, we do like paint nights and um, jewelry making classes and all sorts of different forms of art that adults are taking part in mm. to do team building activities as well. So it's just been a lot of fun. I could imagine that, yeah. especially in their own spaces. Yeah, absolutely. I can only imagine because, especially if you're engaging kids and you're sparking curiosity and you're exposing them to different things to think about, right? I think nowadays kids might look at a screen for a long time or the tradi traditional classroom might not be teaching them these techniques or skills, which exposure starts, you know, uh, and helps them build their curiosity and their passion in some ways. With what you said, what, what, what are some things you would like um, either parents or people that would engage you to understand what you do, what should they know about you that maybe we haven't discussed yet? Yeah, so w I think one, one of the things that makes us unique is that we are teaching real techniques mm -hmm. and um, we teach many different forms of art. So things like 
under textiles and fiber arts, we teach sewing, embroidery, wool felting. We teach, you know, real jewelry making techniques, um, cartooning and fashion design and cool. all sorts of fun um, options. And I, I would encourage you to take the next step and either give me a call or visit our website, uh, dragonflyfun.com. So dragonfly like the insect and mm -hmm. fun, like the kids are outside having fun. Yeah. <laughs> they will find a whole host of classes, events, parties, videos, um, 15 years of five-star testimonials. Love that. <laughs> yes. That means you're making a positive impact. We yeah. absolutely try to. <laughs> Love that. We really try to build a lifelong love of engaging with creativity. We feel that that's the most important thing that children can do. Um, we feel, especially in this time, children using their hands to do meaningful artistic exploration is mm -hmm. so critical for their development. When they're in school and online and taking these different classes through computers, they're not always engaging with a physical materials and and using their brain in new and creative ways and we really hope to promote that in our classes <laughs> yeah I, I can't agree with you more um, and this is what I mean even as an adult yes. as a business owner or you know if you're uh, working at a company so much of our day-to-day -day involves consumption mm -hmm. consumption of the news YouTube videos content on Facebook on Instagram and how often have we really time block time to create something, even if it's as uh, specific and you know using your hands and you know artwork, right? But how how often do we create something? I think we oftentimes forget to because um, social like the social media and the television all condition us to be consumers to listen and. Um, yeah, I think that's really impactful because as much, it's kind of like someone going to school, right? Yeah. School kind of forces, the, forces in a good way, the individual to be at a place in time for the purpose of doing learning or creating something. And in some ways this is continuing education, mm -hmm. right? Of um, utilizing your creative thought, especially for someone I could imagine if they work full time and their energy is, they're so dedicated to work that they kind of forget get their own needs and their own passions. Or what you suggested, kids not having as much social engagement where um, this is a perfect place for them to be able to do a that. A lot of times adults think that they're not artists or they're not creative and it's a muscle you have to exercise just like anything else. Yep. And we make it fun and engaging and really bring out everyone's inner artist mm -hmm. and it, it you can see how people's demeanor changes and it becomes more positive and they start to see themselves as a creative person so yeah. it's it's just lovely to to observe whether you're an adult or a child these classes yeah. are for you <laughs> i could only imagine yeah yeah